Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. We are here again today. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we'll be continuing on with this dual primal team that you can see on your screen in front of you now. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a roll paste and a poker paste. Uh, if you'd like to try the team out, do let me know. But if you just want to have a look at the details of the team, then uh, check them out. And uh, you'll know what we're going into the battles with this week on the channel. Like I said in yesterday's episode, we'll probably be changing things up um, as we go up into the, the latter parts of this week. So if you've got any burning desires to see anything played, do let me know. And I'll make sure we do try and cover it as best we can. Um, as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, Please remember to drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel and uh, as always leave your comments. Like I said, I do love hearing from you and uh, sometimes because of my sickness last week I'm not always able to get back and respond to each comment but I do read them all and uh, I will make a point of leaving a little like and heart next to all the comments because I do appreciate them all if I haven't got time to go through them and actually reply to all of them which at the minute seems a bit uh, a bit a, a bit stretched but uh, we're doing all right with the team this week we made some changes from last week uh, we've got the inclusion of Bronzong and Sableye which did some work in our first game yesterday for sure we didn't bring it to our second game and uh, made some dodgy decisions but uh, you can go back and check that episode out if you haven't caught already but we've got a first opponent of the day so we'll hop straight into team preview and my first opponent today running a team of Groudon, Tapu Fini, Salamence, Tapu Lele, Duskmane, Necrozma and Incineroar. So we've probably got Duskmane and Ultra Necrozma as a variation on this team. Alongside that Tapu Lele and then the Groudon supporting uh, the rest of the team from a restricted standpoint with support from Tapu Fini, Incineroar kind of standard and then the speed control going to be the Salamence. So Trick Room it, it is kind of appealing against this team um bronzong has an all right time outside of the incineral um as long as we can keep the rain up um because bronzong doesn't really care about duskman or Crosma at all um so that's definitely something we can play on uh so kyoga ground i'm going to be pivotal for us in this match i do want to bring sableye as well i'm kind of with sableye the Lele could be a bit of a problem. But if we see the... Yeah, I'm going to bring... Um, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's bring Sableye, Kyogre, Bronzong, and Groudon. Just in the nick of time as well. So, Yuki VGC, good luck. And uh, hopefully it's a good one for us today. The lack of us bringing Salamence this week already is worrying me. Um, but... Salmon's always a good Pokemon to bring against uh, against the Poison Groudon. The Ultra Crossbow and Tapu Lele scare me a little bit, um, but we'll see what my opponent goes for. So we're seeing the Tapu Fini and the Crossma come out for my opponent. Got to worry about the the Ferium Z from this Tapu Fini onto our Sableye for sure. Uh, but we do have Fake out this first turn that we can play around with. Um, the other thing I think is do we get the the ground on baited in here that would be something i could i could definitely see my opponent doing uh, i'm going to fake out the finny though and i'm going to bring in bronzong for kyogre because i'm not really too worried about this necrozma right now obviously with the misty terrain up as well there is a little bit of um an issue with uh, us being able to gravity set and then go for any hypnosis support at the minute so we'll have to try and wait for that terrain to expire before we can go down that route and I think the lack of Coco for us as well is a little bit of a problem it makes Tapu Fini a lot harder to deal with and of course we're just going for the protect here um, as we're gonna see the Tapu Fini maybe try and go for an HS Madness here I don't know um, but this next turn, I feel like we've got a nice way of going for. Do we go for a foul player? Do we just switch into our own Groudon? Um, I kind of feel like I want to just switch into Groudon here and just Trick Room. Um, it's just the only thing that might be a little bit of an issue is um, the Finny either going for a taunt into Bronzong or 
a nature's madness into the Sableye slot. We'll go for the Trick Room and we'll bring in Groudon. I want to preserve save life later in this game anyway, because I think a late game fake out support, so it's going to be nice to try and help us set up Trick Room again if we do need it. We're going to see um, Groudon hit the field for my opponent, so that's fine. Don't mind that. This is where the, the Nature's Madness would, would come in a little bit more problematic for us. Um, because then Groudon's a lot more susceptible to get knocked out by uh, precipice blades or an earth power from my opponent if we've taken damage already and why this the far play into that slot would have maybe been a little bit smarter um, okay well, we'll see what my opponent goes for this is again where the skill swap comes in it's quite a nice option for us um, nature's madness into yeah ground on okay yeah not ideal I mean, it's not the end of the world, because if Groudon does go down, then we do have our Kyogre to come in. Um, I am going to go for a Precipice Blades, and um, I don't think I'll go for the Gravity, because the, the Levitate right now is, is kind of helping us out quite a lot. We could lose Bronzong, that would be the only issue here. Um, but I'll... <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to double up into Bronzong, like Nature's Madness and Fire Punch, and that would leave our Groudon kind of free to just get another Precipice Blades off the next turn. So, I don't know whether you would do that. I don't think that's, like, high on the priorities list right now. Um, and the, the Kyogre Switch is something that we could do, so it's going to put doubt in my opponent's head, I, I, I'd imagine. So we'll get Gyroball doing decent enough damage, and there's a Precipice Blade, so we'll get good damage onto the opposing Groudon, and... Oh, we pick up a knockout. Is that a crit? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we get a little bit lucky there. I'll take it. We proc the berry on the finny. Um, nasty, nasty crit. There's a nature's madness into the ground on again. Okay. So whether we, they were going for the fire punch into the bronze on or not, that's another thing. We could probably go for the gravity now, though. Um. Or maybe just go into Kyogre. Um, hmm. A nice option might be going for the gravity. Yeah, go. We'll go gravity with Bronzong. Protect Groudon. I don't want Groudon going down here. Um, and even though we are intimidated. I think the next turn we could potentially switch in Kyogre. Or we could just stay in, to be honest, and Precipice Gyro Ball as long as Bronzong sticks around this turn. The other option is obviously switching Groudon out to Kyogre here, but then if we do that, we're kind of falling into the trap of maybe taking another Nature's Madness from the Finny onto Kyogre and just weakening our restrictors, which. You don't really want to do. I've just got to get around this fake out here from the Incineral, which oh, is not coming out. It's just going to attack. So we'll get the gravity out with our Bronzong. Uh, Dog Slariot. It's going to be into. Oh, it's going to be into the. Yeah, okay. And there we go. Nature's Madness into the Bronze. Nice thing is, if. Uh, when's the Misty Terrain run out? Um, and is the Incineral actually slower than our Groudon? Because a lot of players are running a little bit speed crept in Cinero here. I'm going to try and go for the Gyro Ball. And Precipice Blades. If we lose Groudon, we lose Groudon. It's not the end of the world. And Precipice Blades isn't going to pick up the knockout onto Incineroar anyway. I wouldn't have thought after an Intimidate. We'll see what my opponent goes for. Jarrah Ball. Uh, and yeah, we're slow. But are you going into ground on this turn? You've got to. Yeah, you've got to. Oh, we take it! Incineroar's weak. <laughs> ground on strong. There we go. Okay, that's nice damage onto both. 
and uh, Nature's Madness coming out into the Zong. But the Zong's going to be in a decent position now. Yeah, we can start putting stuff to sleep now. So we can go for the Hypnosis, Precipice Blades. Um, Hypnosis into Incineroar, Precipice Blades now. Uh, and we've got one turn of Trick Room left. So this is the last one. Neither Pokemon can really protect here. So we can protect that Groudon from the incoming Incineroar, the Duskbane coming in on a press of his blades as well, um, which we know can't really miss now. The Hypnosis hits, which is perfect. And um, we might be able to get another Trick Room up, to be honest. Yeah, I would imagine we'll be able to now. Oh, I've got such a headache today. Like, like I'm, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode, I'm feeling a lot better than I did last week. Um, because I was, I was off work, but oh man, my head is banging today. It wasn't too bad when I was recording yesterday's episode, but going straight into this one, it's like, oh, I just want to, <laughs> my head feels like it's going to fall off. Right, okay, Tapu Fini coming back onto the field. This has worked out pretty well for us. Um, oh, Bronzon, can we, can we get another trick room up? I don't know if we can. I really don't know. Uh, we'll go for... Like, do you double in? I don't know if you do. I'll go for a trick room. I'll try. I'll try and get a trick room up with Bronzong. Bronzong, let's do this. Ah, the forfeit comes out. Okay, I mean, the critical hit onto the ground on was pretty big. It kind of swung the match really in our favor. So uh, we got to give that for my opponent. But outside of that, the team did pretty well. And getting a, a nice little victory for us there today. And it's that same four that we brought to start with yesterday. So, uh, proving again that it's kind of doing the work. Right. On to our next... Our next match. And I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking a while ago, before we started this series again, uh, going into the new season, I uh, was talking about all these nice new overlays. But... I'm sitting on them for our Sword and Shield content, so when we come back with Sword and Shield, we're going to have all these shiny new overlays and the team preview and things like that will look way nicer, so it'll be really good. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to getting them going, but uh, also as well, I'm definitely going to have more showdown shenanigans going on, so episodes of that will be happening this week. Uh, obviously, I wanted more last week, but because of how I was feeling, I didn't really have the time and obviously the stream on Thursday just didn't happen because I was in bed. So, uh, this Thursday, fingers crossed, finally we'll be back with streams and uh, we'll start doing some streams. So do keep an eye out on Twitter, do follow me, uh, OsirisVGC is my handle uh, and I will let you know when I'm going live and if the stream is 100% going ahead. I will tweet out in the morning, say streaming tonight, playing X or Y or an X and Y team. I don't think it will be that though. Um, and then we'll go go from there. So, got an X opponent, 1770 rated player, so this should be a good one. Okay, so they're playing a team of Rayquaza, Kyogre, Zapdos, Ferrothorn, Incineroar, and Gengar. So probably double Mega on the team, although I would kind of be inclined to say that if there's only one Mega, it's going to be the Rayquaza, but then the Gengar could be a, a, a variation, just regular Gengar with uh, Focus Sash or Scarf, uh, common items that you normally see. Zapdos is going to be the speed control setter on the team. Uh, it's got Tailwind, uh, then you've got the check for the trick room going to be the ferrothorn so the incineroar helps out there as well um hmm trick room going to be really good for us here um just worry about the ferrothorn well not so much but only if we're bringing the kyogre bronzong's good here for sure um sableye could we go sableye bronzong lead I think Sableye is going to be decent for us here, for sure. It helps us against the Gengar, um, and with the Quash, it's pretty nice. Do we want any other sort of speed control here? I mean, Kyogre's good, and Groudon always going to be good. I'm kind of just tempted to go with these four and see if we can get the win, which I feel like pretty confident that we can. So we'll go for it. Leaving Salamence and Cocoa again, but 
Well, see, these four seem to be working. So, I mean, when something is working, why change it? Why change something that's broke? That's it, so we'll see. Okay, so we're on zone. Save life for ourselves, and we're gonna see Gengar and Cineral. Okay, well, Gengar's probably got taunt to shut down our save line. Um, well, shut down our Bronzong, I would imagine. And we don't want to get baited in by bringing Groudon onto the field right now. 100% not. Um, we could, we could go for uh, kind of. Hmm, I don't really want to just get taunted on Bronzong. We could bring in Kyogre. Like, Kyogre's not a bad Pokemon to bring in for Bronzong. And we could just fake out the Incineroar. Because again, Gengar Mega Revolves. I don't mind getting trapped in with Kyogre as much as I would with, with Groudon. Groudon's like the one Pokemon we don't want to get trapped in with against this call. And if they go Mega Gengar, we're probably quite safe in thinking that the Rayquaza has not come to this match. Yeah. So if we see a taunt here from the Gengar into our Bronzong slot, this is perfect. Because the next turn we can quash the Gengar and we can water spout. And everything's good in the world. There's a fake out into the Incineroar. Taunt. Excellent. Oh, it's into Sableye. Ha! We could have went for the <laughs> for the trick room. Ah, uh, okay. Um thing is though we can switch out our Sableye because we are part ghost so we're not trapped. Uh, I'm gonna go for the water spout. Um Do I go for a foul play into Incineroar rather than switching out? Because I feel like maybe something comes in on that slot rather than the Incineroar staying in. I think the Gengar definitely protects. 100%. And like say if it is the Rayquaza for some reason. When we catch it with a foul play, it'll be pretty nice. Yeah, okay, what's coming in? Kyogre. I mean, I don't like a foul play here is going to be really nice anyway. Uh, worst thing that we're going to take from the Gengar is going to be a sludge bomb. But it's likely to protect, I, I would imagine. Yeah. Mm hmm. So we'll get some decent damage onto this Kyogre, which is pretty huge for us going forward in this match. And we know, like, is the Rayquaza going to be the fourth Pokemon or not? Uh, if I'll play it, there's some nice damage there onto that Kyogre. Yeah, really nice damage. Um, now, we could go for an Ice Beam into the Gengar and then switch into Groudon. It's a little bit risky. It is a little bit risky. Or we could just stay in and go Water Spout again. Or we could actually go Scald. Now we'll go Water Spout and go Foul Play into the Gengar. Rather than risk the switching. So there's the Sludge Bomb. Yeah. We're faster, so that's good. A little bit more damage onto that Kyogre. Oh, actually we take the Gengar down, which is huge for us. Okay, that's amazing. And then the foul play. We're actually faster than the Kyogre as well. The Sableye is a boss. There we go. So my opponent not really worried about the Trick Room going up. Kind of probably wanting the Trick Room to go up in this situation. Now knowing their, their Kyogre speed. Um, we're not taking any risks there. And we weren't taking any risks because we got the Sash on Sableye. So we're not really worried. And it's, it's Zapdos. And Incineroar, so Groudon going to be able to clean this one up pretty easily for us now. Um, so we can just switch Kyogre to Groudon and go for a... Do we just foul play? Foul play the Zapdos? Or do we switch the Zapdos out? For Bronzong. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that. Because now it's pretty much done. 
it is done, isn't it? There's, I don't think there's any really way for my opponent to kind of beat us at this point. We can't beat Groudon. And if we can get a gravity up, it's over. But I mean, like, Presbyterian Blade's next turn gets Incineroar. We can set gravity up and then just get the Zapdos. So it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be fine, isn't it? There's a fake out. Yep. Tailwind. Tailwind. Yeah. Still go for a precipice. And I probably want to preserve Bronzong. Do we bring in Sableye? Yeah, let's bring in Sableye. It's the one thing so we're not losing a Pokemon. We can probably win this 4 0 if we do this this way. The Incineroar. Where are you going? Heat wave. Ah. So we'll probably lose Sableye here. The double up into that slot. Yeah. Ooh, Z move. There we are. It's the uh I think it's the right Z move. They're not the Z move that we were using. It's gonna there's the ring. Is it coming? So the ring is here, there we are. That's this is what we missed last week. So yeah, we're going to lose poor old Sableye. Put in so much work this game as well. So, done well. Uh, we just need our precipice to hit. There we go. This Groudon is the best Groudon ever in the history of Groudons. Hitting the, that, the Incineroar. And um, yeah, we're going to be able to get Bronzong in. It'll take a heat wave easy. Um, And we still got Kyle going in the back. There's no way the Zapdos beats us now. Poor old Zappy. Zapdos is a Pokemon I really like. Uh, so Fire Punch and we'll Trick Room. And there's a forfeit. So very good game to my opponent. Uh, two good games today. Um, a lot better than the, the, the match yesterday so that's really nice for us to pick up two wins uh, go into tomorrow's episode and hopefully we can continue on from there like I say pushing for the 1700 mark is the bare minimum what we want to do by the end of the week um, and it's proving I think as well that dual primal as an archetype is is totally viable in this format and uh, something that I think a lot of you should try out if you haven't already there's so many different combinations in this format, it's really hard, but I think if you want to play something different and just have a play around with something that not many other players have been utilizing, it's a really nice variant. And you see, even against a really strong opponent like that, 1770 rated, so they're doing well on the ladder. And we didn't really have too many issues against that team. Now, it would have been different, I think, if we're in a best of three. Uh, they'll bring the Rayquaza. It would be a completely different matchup. But with what they brought there, it wasn't really too hard for us to deal with. Um, but I think just kind of more evidence to show that Dual Primals is still a really good contender, I think, going into the latter stage of the Ultra Series for players to test out, at least anyway, in my opinion. Um, we'll end it there, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I will be doing the rest of the recording for this week on Tuesday, so I'm hoping to now and then I'm a lot better. And the nasalness is gone. I feel 100% better and uh, will be good to rock and roll for the rest of the week. Also do some showdown stuff. I'll try and do as many as I can for this week. If we could get one every day this week, that would be amazing, but can't promise anything, but we'll definitely have at least a couple, so I'll get those done as well. Um, and I'll see you for those. So uh, without further ado, have a lovely rest of your day. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. Um, and I will see you all for the next one. So thank you for tuning in. Take care and bye-bye.